This is off a two-man attack again. Remember, Kempo was never designed to fight one person. It was always designed to fight more than one person. The odds are uneven when it's going against one person. The same thing has even happened in courts now. Courts are starting to look a little bit more lenient towards martial arts. But if you have a black belt, the black belt says one thing. You've got control. If you can't control your environment that you're in, you shouldn't be in the environment. That means you shouldn't be in the belt. At my school, I don't give out belts. I never will give out any belts. You earn it. You earn the right. I've been teaching for 14 years, and I've got two black belts. That's it. I have more people on their way, but it's strictly up to them. It's not hard, but I realize one thing. I have never put a belt around a student. I put a student inside a belt. That's a big difference because they don't wear it around their waist. They wear it in their heart and their mind. You should be able to control the environment that you're in. That means the state of your mind. That means your character. If someone's a black belt and tries to show it off, if I have a kid at Chiten that they're not, why? Because anybody can buy them. There's no honor there. You want honor, not value. Honor. You pay for what you get for. You're betting your life in your martial arts. You're going to learn it from some schmuck? I don't think so, but a lot of people do. You get somebody that has integrity. How do you find them? Panther has them. Panther has the quality people. Why? Because people talk about people. That's why they come to certain people. Watch this technique and see what I mean. As Larry comes up and Sean's behind me, Larry's pointing his finger at me. Notice what hand he's pointing. He's pointing the left. That means he's setting up the right. Sean's grabbed me by the back shoulder with his left hand. What's that mean? He wants to spin me around and punch me. So right off the bat, you have a visual aid of knowing one thing. These two guys don't know what the heck they're doing. This guy wants to punch me, and this guy wants to punch me. If this guy turns me around the same time this guy punched me, I can turn all around, and this guy's going to hit this guy. Right off the bat, I've already got him going in my favor. So I use the odds. I realize, oh, this is great. This is like a Laurel and Hardy movie, but I'm not going to be the, two, the starring role. I'm going to be the straight guy. As I come around, I block, I hammer fist to this person's face. I come around, hammer fist, neutralizing this hand, elbow. This person comes with a punch, stop him, slow him down, chop in the neck, come around, drop him in front of me. By dropping him in front of me, he has to come over. From here, I see he's not going to come over because I did some more damage to him. I come up, I check off my groin, I come in, yeah, throw a snap kick in this person. This person starts to get up, I come in and I crush his collarbone and turn into his jaw and step out. I'm using the force of leverage on him. It's like he's standing up. He can't go anywhere. Gravity's working for me. Gravity's in my army. You've got to learn the different states, the different places. Look at the room that you're in. Look at the environment. See what it represents. Those are things that you can use if you know how. If you don't, they're going to be used against you. You're going for black belt right now, pal, and we're not talking a cheap black belt. You want punch and kick? Go get punch and kick. You want serious stuff? You've got it right here. Let's watch it again. Larry comes in. We've already established. He's pointing his finger. It's a very, very important thing to say. Larry's talking right now. Chances are he's going to be moving his mouth. It's impossible to hit somebody that's talking to you at the same time. While he's talking, I move. Hey, is that self-defense? It's offense. He can't hit me while he's talking. I'm safe. Wham! Come around. Strike. Come in. Snap kick. Lock. Strike. Take him down. Yeah. Come up. Check off. Thrust kick. See a movement? Come back. Pin him down. Snap his neck. Come off. If the person's talking, they can't hit you. When they stop talking, you're in trouble. You respond before the act even happens. They already created physical assault. They're assaulting you. Your odds are on your side. Let's try it again. As we come in, we have this side right here so you can see it. You have two angles. They do a very, very good job here, but you've got to see a little bit more and look. That's why you want to watch it in a relaxed state of mind. So Larry's here. I check the arm down. I hammer fist the side ahead. If I hit him in the temple, I don't have to worry about the next moves. He's dead. It only takes 40 pounds PSI to kill somebody in the temple. An average man has enough power of 120 pounds. If I hit him right, he's dead. If I hit him in the ear, his equilibrium's gone. If I chop him in the neck, I can snap his neck. Check down the arm. Same thing to this side. Those are two kill blows. It's intentional. Hit. Elbow to the chest. Comes in. Strike. Chop. Hit. Take him down. Hit into the mastoid. Come over. Check. Thrust kick. Come up. Smash him back down the back of the neck. These techniques are designed for one thing. Hurt, maim, and kill. We're doing kill right now. I never want to kill somebody, and I want to put the emphasis on that. And I never have killed somebody. But yes, I've been in a lot of street fights, and they're not fun. If you're doing it for victory, I don't want to teach you. But if you're doing it to protect your child and your family, I'm your person. I'm going to do it. I care about you. You better care about yourself. And you better care about yourself more than I care about you. This is serious. Listen to my voice. Look at my face. We're talking business right now. Kempo. Yeah. It's awesome. It's power. You better know how to control it.
come around, strike, come in, snap kick, lock, strike, take him down, yeah, come up, check off, thrust kick, see him move it, come back, pin him down, snap his neck. 